Well, hello, 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 everyone out there in Tamerlane. Hello, everyone. This is your girl Zengaya, the Zen Libran, and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, Narcissistic Abuse Tarot. How y'all doing out there? How y'all doing? Y'all peaceful out there? Y'all serene out there? Yeah? Yeah, have I been tapped into a great frequency? I hope you guys are. I'm sending you guys peace, love, and light, okay? If you never viewed my channel before um, or my channel, I attract a lot of energy from feminines that have gone through traumatic experience with, experiences with narcissists. And I use my gifts to tell their stories, their experiences through tarot. And by sharing their stories publicly, I hope it offers some validation to women that are going through this uh, with these narcissists and some understanding of the narcissistic personality disorder and that there is help. And this is really a, a, a tragic, this is a disorder. This is something that's real. You know what I'm saying? It was not just women complaining about a man. No, this is a very demonic energy that is actually destroying good men, women too, you know, because out of 100% narcissists, 20% um, is women. It's a rarity, but though these women are cuckoo for Cocoa Puff, just like these men and they need help. They need guidance, you know what I'm saying? Um, on my channel is all about elevating the woman. It's all about getting a woman back to her empress status, her goddess status, so that she can get back on her throne and rule rule this planet the way that she was designed to rule it okay all right um i'm here today to do a general collective reading from my ancestors of course you guys if you follow me you know that i check in with my soul family each member of my soul family and i let them tell us what's going on out here in the ethers i check in with my ancestors twice a month i check in with them in the beginning of the month and the end of the month by video through video i speak to them every day i check in with them every day but with you guys i check in with them twice a month okay and this is the second time so it's time for me to check in with them and see what's going on out here in these ethers okay all right y'all all right and the energy for this particular reading from my ancestors is the shield maiden We got the shield maiden here. And of course, you know, the shield maiden, that's that queen of swords energy. You know what I'm saying? She ready for battle. You know, we got a feminine here that teaches the men how to fight. You know what I'm saying? So she's ready. You know what I'm saying? She not, she not scared. You know what I'm saying? You got to bring ass to get this ass. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, ancestors is guiding this feminine to avoid someone. And she's doing it. She got her guard up. Okay. She's obedient. You know what I'm saying? You be obedient to your, your ancestors, your spirit guides, and your angels. You're going to be okay. Let them guide you, okay? And she got her guards up, and she's ready. You know what I'm saying? That's right. This is a shield maiden giving us the energy of making plans and focusing. Yeah, she's focusing on her future, and she's being told to avoid someone, to stay away from someone. This is what her ancestors are guiding her to do. And she's doing it. That's right. And of course, I got the power of three up here, my three ladies, to help me bring in this energy, feminine energy, to deliver this message uh, from my ancestors. And the first one that I pull from the power of three is I love to see my girl, Bridget. Bridget is here giving us the energy of inner pre peace. Now, Bridget, St. Bridget is the one that the, um, is the goddess that the nuns prayed to at night. They prayed to her because the men used to rape them, you know, try to come in there and, you know, assault them. You know what I'm saying? But they prayed to uh, St. Bridget and Bridget would protect them. Bridget has a ring of fire that she cast around the nun so, in the nunnery. So if anybody tried to cross over that fire or through it, they would be crippled or even lose their life. You know what I'm saying? Um, Bridget is here protecting you, sweetheart, because someone is here longing for you really want you so bad i mean they want you know bridges here giving us the energy of inner peace and this person wants a piece of your inners <laughs> you know what i'm saying this person trying to see what's under that dress you know what i'm saying they want to give you a love offer you know what i'm saying because they're longing for you this is bridget giving us the energy of inner peace yeah you got somebody that's ooh, 
hot for you, honey. Yeah. And then I have my girl Bast here. Bast is here giving us the energy of pleasure. You have somebody that is suffering because they can't control you. They want to control you and they can't. And this is the person that wants to get pleasure from you. This is the person that wants to be intimate with you, have sex with you. And um, I'm here to say that uh, this en energy is not masculine. This energy is feminine. I just heard that you got a feminine here that wants to <laughs> she wants to pet your kitty cat. <laughs> That's what she wants to do in, um, you know what I'm saying, in other words. You know what I'm saying? She wants pleasure from you. We have a woman here that is interested in women. You know, she could be bisexual, but she's more attracted to women than she is men. And she wants the divine feminine. She wants to see what's under that dress. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I tell you, boy, these, these studs off the chain, ain't they? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is bad it's giving us the energy of pleasure and then the last one from the power of three that i have is my girl aditi aditi is here giving us the energy of creation aditi and lakshmi one in the same um we have somebody here that's royalty this divine feminine is royalty you know what i'm saying i mean she has royalty in her dna and her and her ancestors they did they studied the stars and birth charts and the cosmos. This is what they did. You know what I'm saying? And she's doing it now in this particular life. And it's bringing her abundance and prosperity. And I mean affluence. And when I say affluence, I mean affluence. You know what I'm saying? Uh, fame and everything. This is Aditi giving us the energy of creation. Somebody's going to be stinky rich. You know what I'm saying? And that's why this person wants to, this feminine wants to get with you. She's trying to. You know what I'm saying? Let me lick you up and down till you say you stop. Let me get these cards out here and see what the ancestors got to say about what's going on out here in the ethers. Let me play with your body, baby, and make you real hot. Yeah, she trying to get it. Let me do all the things you want me to do. Cause tonight, baby. I want to get freaky with you. Yeah, spirit don't want you to worry about this feminine. They want you to sit back and reflect and reflect on the joy that's coming into your life. You know what I'm saying? They want you to enjoy yourself. Everything is being balanced off and you've been cut off from, from the world for a while. And now it's time for you to come out your shell. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have assistance with your spirit guides from this because you're going to be a little paranoid, you know, because you just came under attack. Uh, came from under attack, you know, your ancestors are going to, I mean, your spirit guides are going to guide you through this, okay? But they want you to sit and reflect on some joy in your life, you know what I'm saying? I mean, don't worry about this gobbler, I call her, you know, gobblers, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, you got a woman that's interested in you, sweetheart. I don't know if you're bisexual. I mean, um, there are plenty of divine feminists that are, you know what I'm saying? So there's nothing wrong with that. I totally understand that relationship. Um, there was <clears throat> uh lesbian relationship uh, existed way before a heterosexual relationship. So I totally understand that relationship. So you have a woman that's really interested in you, sweetheart, you know? Maybe you want to try something new. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I don't know. But she wants you to. <laughs> if the first time don't succeed, try again. That's what I'll do. Always try something else. Always try something that's new. Yeah, she wants you to try something new. You know what I'm saying? Come on, let me lick you up. Come on, let me lick you down. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> yeah, man. In my ocean voice. Yeah, man. <laughs> she trying to get you, baby. She trying to get some of that. I'm trying to get with you. I got a thing for you, baby. Dark and lovely. No one above that. Ooh, girl, you really got it going on. 
I wanna spank ya. I wanna thank ya. You the reason why I sing this song. What I tell you? She wanna court you. She wanna court you. And your ancestors sitting there like, what? Yeah, she trying to court you. You know what I'm saying? You got a stud up here trying to court you, girl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get with you. Let's see what's going on out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, this person wants to come around and confess and tell you the truth. Um, how they feel about you. But unfortunately, um, there's an unrequited love there. This divine feminine is not returning the feelings. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's plenty of people waiting to um, date, court this divine feminine. Um, but she's not interested. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she's had a victory from these people that just accosted her. She's been under a spiritual attack. And uh, she just want to be by herself for a while. You know what I'm saying? She's healing. Um, she's focusing on self-care right now. She could be taking herbs, you know, to heal herself. You know what I'm saying? Um, she's planted some seeds, um, her dream seeds, and now she's watching um, her seeds grow. She's watching her seeds grow. Um, she's not going to be in a partnership. Um, with this particular person. She's not going to give this person any of her energy, even though they want to have the two of cups with her. Yeah. It's something about this person. Um, this person is doing this because this person is trying to get in your energy, Divine Feminine. She wants to sabotage you or exploit you or, you know, she's trying to get close to you to harm you, you know. Um, but you're not going to be in a partnership with this person. It's not fated for you to be in a lesbian relationship. And it's not going to go forward at all. You know what I'm saying? Um, this person is ready to put invest their time and energy into you, Divine Feminine. They don't want you to be free from them. You know, um, this particular person could be younger than you are. Um, this is a particular person that is all into her looks, um, likes to party, you know, um, very close with her family. Mm hmm. But her family wants her to have a heterosexual relationship on the scene. Um, I don't know if they know that she is a lesbian, that she's attracted to women. I don't think she came out to her family. Yeah. She feels that she's in some type of bondage because she can't express her feelings to her family because they they go by image and they want her to be in a heterosexual relationship. Yeah. She wants to be released from this bondage that her family has over there and she's ready to confess that she's a lesbian and she's totally interested in the divine feminine hmm. I just heard cheaper to keep her I don't know why I heard that mm-hmm You got some good news uh, coming to you, Divine Feminine. Some good news coming. Um, you're not going to have to be bothered with these, this food <laughs> anymore. Okay. Uh, I don't know somebody. I don't know. But uh, you're not going to have to be bothered with these people anymore. Okay. Yeah, but this she totally is uh, interested in you. Totally interested in you. Let's clarify this good news you got coming. Coming your way. Your spirit, guys, is definitely going to give you some uh, guidance dealing with this. You know, I don't know if you had ever dealt with a, or ever been approached by a lesbian. This is probably something new to you, but just pray on it. You know. What's this new, this good news you got coming on? 
What's this good news you got coming your way? Mm, you got good news coming your way and somebody's not happy. Somebody's not happy. Uh, the good news is that you've been released from their bondage. And this person is not happy. This emperor is not happy. Mm, so I guess this emperor, you were binded to this emperor or something? You know, you're going to get some good news and he's not happy. He's not happy, but so what? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let's put one on his daughter of coins down here. Let's put one on his daughter of coins because uh, she's trying to get with you, Divine Feminine. She trying to get with you. <laughs> she up there. Turn the lights down low. Baby, come close. Yeah, she don't want you to move on. You could be trying to move or something from an environment. She don't want you to move on. She don't want you to be free because she checking you out. She trying to shoot her shot. She trying to shoot her shot. Mm -hmm. She figured that if she got what you would, she will have a victory because you're abundant and you have this uh, sacral chakra energy that she can lap off her because that's what she want to do. Mm -hmm. Lick it up, lick it up. Oh, shut it to me right now. Lick it up. That's that kiss. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Let's pull some more energy up here before I close out. Yeah, she want to court you and do the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Want to take you out on a date. Want y'all to look nice, grab your hand, you know what I'm saying? I mean, she's a she's a gentle woman, you know what I'm saying? Not a gentle man, but a gentle woman, you know what I'm saying? Pull your chair out, you know, open up your car door, you know, treat you better than a man, supposed, than a man, you know what I'm saying? And them lesbians, they do. They take care of their women, you know what I'm saying? Them studs take care of their women, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, yeah, she trying to go out, out, she trying to get with you, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Want to come confess to you, honey, how she feel? You know what I'm saying? And um, but you, it's unrequited love, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this person is imagining y'all together. She's imagining that she's with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she's trying to get with you. She's trying to get it. You know what I'm saying? And she want to get with you because she's a narcissist and she wants to be a dictatorship. She wants to dominate you. You know what I'm saying? Because of this abundance, she thinks that she can dominate you. I'm telling you, it's narcissist women out here too, y'all. I told y'all, you know what I'm saying? And this is one of them. But the divine wants you to avoid this person. You know what I'm saying? And this person over here suffering because they can't control you. I mean, she's longing for you. Do you hear what I'm saying? She is longing for you, honey. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. This person has been over there doing magic on you. This masculine, this emperor has been doing magic on you, but you're healing from that. You know what I'm saying? This person is not happy. I mean, because you got good news, this person is not happy that you've been released from this person's bondage. He's not happy. This person been over there doing magic on you, doing ceremonies, rituals on you. <laughs> just giving you conflict mad. You could be seeing someone else and he's mad about that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he mad about that. He over here mad at you. But his woman over here shooting his shot. Shooting a shot to you. I mean, this is crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't want you to be free. Don't want you to move on. You know what I'm saying? These people are crazy, you know what I'm saying? But you're going to be okay. You gonna, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you're going to have harmony in your life, you know what I'm saying? I mean, everything going to be stable for you, you know what I'm saying? And these people, they're going to reap what they sow. They're going to reap what they sow. You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. You know, just sit back and just relax and just chill. You know what I'm saying? The divine wants you to reflect right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This person is getting none of your energy. This person just wants to try to sabotage you. That's why they want you in a connection. But you're not giving this person any of your energy. Yeah, this person wants you to suffer. 
This person wants you in darkness. You know, don't deal with this particular person, okay? Don't deal with this particular person. No partnership is not faded and is not moving forward. And that's it. You don't want the lesbian. Tell her thank you, but no thank you, sweetheart. You know, you persevered through all this with this person. You got this fool over here that she's connected to that's been doing spell work. And, she, and, and, and she, he's doing it. I mean, you, but you persevere. You jump through every obstacle. And these people are going to have to leave you alone. They have no other choice. Okay? And this is a whole damn family over there that's doing it. You know, him, her, and the dog, the, the dog probably doing it. I mean, they just pitiful. they just pitiful, y'all. they just pitiful. Well, this is what I have, the message that I have from my ancestors. If you feel anyone could benefit from this, guys, please, 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 share the consciousness, share the awareness, you know, uh, protect yourself, divine feminine. Um, just keep your energy cleansed because these people are doing rituals on you. But you're going to be okay, though. You know what I'm saying? Them, they are the ones that's going to be suffering because you're persevering through all of this. And you got your ancestors and your spirit guides are guiding you through this, okay? Stay away from this person. She trying to see what's under your dress. <laughs> She's suffering because she can't control you, but she'll be all right. You know what I say to that? Do it. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all, Divine Feminine, and I will definitely see you guys on my next reading. Other than that, ladies, please know thyself, know thyself, know thyself. I'll see you guys on the next reading. Y'all be easy. Bye-bye.